All right. So, uh, first time driving the VinFast VF5 Plus. Yes. Wow, I'm so excited. Wow. And and look at look at behind us. Like uh, like we have we can fit like five people in this car. Yeah. Also a little probably a little bit cramped with all the you know cameras and uh, Fung, are you comfortable? I'm okay. You're okay. We can fit more people back there. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well let's, let's get going. <clears throat> I can't wait to drive the the VF VinFast VF5. Hey Tom, it's the one and only Floyd Money Mayweather. First I want to say congratulations on your YouTube channel. Everybody needs to follow your YouTube channel. So what everyone needs to do is subscribe to Tom Pink. Great guy, great person. Tom, keep up the great work. Okay, of course we're gonna get into the sport mode, right? And probably low regen. And what is our battery current at 82%, all right? And our odometer is at 42 kilometer, all right? Where's the trip meter? How can I get to that? Ah, oh, there you go. Trip A, right? So hold OK to reset. All right, OK. So we'll, we'll do a bit of like range test, all right? So at 82%, uh, let's see how far we can travel, all right? Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. We're going. Say bye bye again. Bye bye! Okay, clearly, uh, this is not a very powerful car. It feels like it's a bit on the slow side. Miss Fung? Yeah. How do you feel so far sitting in the back? in the VinFast VF5 Plus. They're quite okay. Yeah, small. It's a smaller car, isn't it? Beginning and the end, we cannot fit three people in the second row. You cannot fit three bigger people in the back. But I think three small people okay. Three Fong okay, I think. Yeah, you need to find three Fong. That's like full, full, uh, oh, shit. <laughs> that's like all the way down. All right, that's like stepping all the way down on the pedal. It's not a fast car, but it's adequate. I think this is more than enough in, in uh, Ho Chi Minh City. We, we have to do the speed test eventually to figure out how fast it gets to the 100 kilometer an hour mark. And according to the manufacturer, it takes about 12 seconds. So we, ha we have to put that to the test. Mr. Sun? Yes, sir. How do you feel about the back? I feel like the back is a little bit more than the back. But the back is a little bit more than the back. <laughs> Compared to the VF9, yeah. I think dimensionally, it's like Kia Morning. It's about the same size. Would you agree? Let's go. Wow, this is so slow. Oh, wow. So with the VinFast VF5, you know, if, if you need to get up to speed to merge, uh, you really have to... Uh, plan ahead because it's not it's not very fast if you need to like merge or pass somebody then uh, you really need to think clearly before you do it cameraman number two <laughs> I don't know what's his name <laughs> <Yeah>. Mr. Hui <laughs> yes how do you feel about uh, the VinFast VF5 <laughs> why are you compared to the VF9 <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, okay, yes it is. Definitely smaller than the VF9. What about you, Miss I? How do you feel about, you know, sitting in the passenger seat? Hi, by okay. my side, in the VF5 Plus? It's feel very uh, okay when sit by your side in the VF5. Feel very okay? Yes. 
the seed material made me remember about the E34. Really? Do you remember the E34? Like the material. You know, I, I think the seed is quite soft. I don't mind it. It actually feels fairly comfortable. I mean, I'm, I'm in my driver's seat, so I don't know about you guys, but I, I feel fairly comfortable. Are you comfortable, everybody, in the back? Yes. Are you sure? Don't don't just repeat what I say. You know, like you can you can have a this, you can have a different opinion. I think. I don't want to kill you. <laughs> yeah. I think is the BF5 is a bit uh, strong. A little bit short, right? Like it's like. This hit Mr. Sun's head. What hit Mr. Sun's head? Like his head hit the roof. Oh, don't do that. Don't no. do that. You might break the roof. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> Let's go. Oh, no sunroof. No sunroof. Yeah. Em nghĩ là nó phù hợp cho gia đình bốn người. Không có quá nhiều công nghệ ở trên xe này. Nó là một chiếc xe basic bình thường đơn giản. Yes. But I think that's what we need, right? We we need something that's affordable and people can buy and use and the, the biggest question is the range because according to manufacturer again you know it has an a NEDC range of about 300 kilometers on a full charge wow, wow. but but uh, usually NEDC standard is not very accurate so usually you have to like deduct 50% so 50% okay. <laughs> So if that's true, then that gives you about 150 kilometers on a full range. But I don't know. We need to test it. And and this car doesn't go fast, so it's like it's trying to limit its power output, I guess, to like, you know, make it go further, right? So we really need to test it. I mean, if this car has longer range, even like 200 kilometer, right? If it, even if it can do that, then I think I think this is a very very useful car. People can actually buy it, use it. It's affordable. You know, most people in Vietnam, most people in Vietnam can buy this car. And then there'll be so many VF5s on the road. And then there'll be so much traffic congestion. And then the, the charging station will be all full. And then people will be like at the charging station, like beating up each other because, you know, they cannot get a space. Would that be a society that we want? I think it's, <laughs> when we got more EV cars, so we will have less fuel cars. Yeah, that's true. That's true. If we have more EV cars, then we have less fuel cars. And that's good for the environment, I guess, right? And then uh, we'll be burning less fossil fuel. And then I could make more children. And then they will inherit the earth because we will have a future. You know, otherwise, you know, global warming, the water level is rising, and we're all going to fucking drown. Is that right? <laughs> oh, <is> right? <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. oh, you mean like the VF9 will last like three seconds, right? Because there's too much technology. That makes sense, yes. right? But this car will last forever because it has nothing in it. Yes. I think that makes sense. Yeah. That's why we should buy like shitbox. But I'm not saying the VF5 is shit box. Pr frankly, I have to say I'm like very impressed. How much money do we pay for this car? Oh, I don't remember. I think it's like around 400 million dong, right? Yes. And it's really affordable. And like, look at what you get for 400 million dong. And she also share about the uh, like planning to buy if you make deposit. You only need to deposit 20 percent. Oh, really? You only need to deposit 20% and you can drive it away? Yes. And then the bank will cover the 80%? Yes. And wow. you will um, uh, like pay by monthly for 5 years. That means everyone can buy it. Oh, so she told you that? Yes. While I was like pooping in at home? <laughs> really, I did. I, I had diarrhea this morning. I'm actually saying that on camera. <laughs> I had diarrhea this morning. That's why I, 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 I was like... Uh, I think I drank too much, that's the problem. I, I, I had like a, almost a bottle of wine, so, so I was like, I was at home like, ah, oh, fuck, I, I missed it, ah, oh, shit. I literally like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay, it's all out now, so, you know. And I, and I, and I, and I weighed myself, I'm like 73 kilograms. I gained like five kilograms since COVID. 
Shit. I need to lose weight again. Yeah, I'm kind of heavy. You don't want me on top. I'm kind of heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I might kill somebody, you know? <laughs> I might kill somebody. That's not good. I'll be on VN Express. Heavy guy kill somebody on top. <laughs> We're actually stuck in traffic. Uh, normal, normal. That's normal for Ho Chi Minh City, I guess. Right? But honestly, getting back to the car, I'm very impressed. Seriously, for 400 million dong and you can put 20% down, anybody can buy this car. Why buy a motorbike? Like, I, you should buy a car. Fung, you should buy a car. Miss Hui, let's go buy a VF5. And then we can have like a VF5 club. All right, we can start the first VF, the the Min uh, Min Tay uh, Mianam Mianam VF Five Plus Club, okay? And then and then I, I get the blue one, you get the white one, and Miss we get the orange one, and then um. You get, what you want to get the pink one? Yeah. <laughs> you want to get the pink one? Oh, okay. And, and uh, Mr. Sun get I don't know uh, a black one. Okay. Yeah, and then and then uh, and then and then we'll go on a long trip to uh, to Muine. Okay. Well, we should go to Muine, and then we, we get stuck uh, somewhere in the middle because we run out of battery. Oh, you know why we're stuck in traffic? Because the car in front of us broke down, and I'm just like sitting here waiting. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm going. No one behind us. Fuck, this is like a fucking accident. This is a fucking accident. I'm like parking behind them. I didn't even know. I mean, like, 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 like sitting there for like five minutes. I'm a fucking idiot here. Yeah, we're stupid. <laughs> Look at that VF5 Plus driver, idiot. And also, this car don't have the wear spill. The spill. Oh, well, I, I took a shower today. That's mainly no, the reason. The car, not you. Well, I did take a shower this morning. You so, took the shower after I pooped, you know, after diarrhea, I have to take a shower, you know. So, is that too much information? But, anyways, I did. So, that's why it mainly smells fresh in here. So let's go, let's go higher speed. 100 kilometers an hour. This is 100 kilometers an hour. How do you feel about highway speeds? I feel like it's not feeling like we're going very fast. Yeah, actually it's very stable at 100 kilometers an hour. It's a fairly stable car. Seriously, I'm impressed. For 400 million dong, that's like about Sixteen thousand dollars. You get this entry level EV. Drives pretty good, but we, mainly we need to test the range. Oh. Ah! Oh. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> so obviously uh, you don't get much noise isolation from the outside. You can hear everything outside. Yeah, this, this car has no problem traveling at a higher speed on the highway. I, I will take it on the highway. So does it have the camera in the rear? So they yes, it has rear camera, yes. So you, when you back up, it will you know, put on the camera. And let's just see, I'm at 77%. From 82 to 77%, we lost 5%. And we traveled 7.1 kilometers driving like Tom Peng in sport mode. All right, so that gives us about 150 kilometers uh, range, full charge. I I'm doing math in my head, I'm probably wrong. Yeah, I'm not a human calculator. All right, I'm not like some math prodigy, you know, like, you know, you know there's some like kids, like three years old, they can, like, they can do like a uh, square root of like 365. I cannot do that. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, you know, the number I give you probably all wrong. Yes. Oh, okay. What did I do? It's hot. It's hot here. Well, is there any AC vents at the back? You can review the AC vent. No, I see. You don't have any AC vent. Any AC. Oh, oh well. 
we need to point that out. There is no AC vent in the back. So stay cooking. Why do you need the AC heat lifting? No, it's it's condensation. Oh. Woo. It's a feature, all right? It's a feature. You know, the VinFast VF5 is crying. It's like, oh, I'm so happy you bought me. Yes. That's what it is, I think. Okay, well, so that's the feedback. Well, second row, no AC vent. So it gets warmer in the back. Uh, I don't even know how to make it cooler. I mean, like, we're already doing the maximum. Is that, oh no, that's the fan. Shit, I don't know how this works. Ah. I'm hot, hot, hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's not right. Shit. Oh, we don't know how this thing works. Oh, AC on, AC off. Uh, that's what that is. And then, uh, oh, this is the fan. This is the temperature. We probably should not do that while we're in the middle of the intersection. But it's, it's warm air, so we're not doing this right. Well, I think that's all. It's the coldest setting, maximum fan, AC on. That's the best we can do, okay? Are you okay now? No. No, oh, okay, well, too bad. Sucks to be you. I noticed that in the back we uh, no need to seat belt. What do you mean no need seat belt? Oh yeah! Well, good point. Good point. So usually in the VinFast, everybody needs to put on the seat belt. Otherwise, you know what the car will do. Right? And then but this one, no, not so much. In the back, you don't need to put on the seat belt. Because, you know, if you get into an accident in the VF5, you're mm -hmm. probably going to die anyway, so, you know, you don't need seatbelt. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Any other comments, Mr. Uh, Sun? Phía sau thì nó hơi mất tiền, tại vì nó nóng với lại là nếu mà bật điều hòa thì nó ồ. Okay, uh, all right, I think that makes sense. Like in the back, no no vent, so hot and hotter, warmer. The, the AC noise is louder, right? Come on, Mr. Sun, what do you expect? This is a 400 million dong car, all right? It's pretty good for it, what it is. And I also want to point out something, okay? Uh, and I think there's something that's, you know, somewhat important to me, and that is this car is designed purely on an EV architecture. This car is not borrowing from take parts from petrol cars and build a car around that. Uh, instead, it's like built ground up as an EV. And how you tell is that if you look at the back, oh, I'm touching your feet, damn it. So if you look at the, 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 this place here, right? There is no, there's no bump, like a hump here, right? There's no hump because normally with a petrol car, you need to have a drive shaft in there. So usually in petrol cars, there's a hump. But there's no hump in the VF5. So this is actually more advanced than the VF8 because it's built as a as a as an EV car. And another way to tell is when you push the oh, when you push the gas pedal all the way down, right? In a petrol car, there's actually some resistance at the very end. So it's like you push it down and then it's like you can press a button. Alright, you can you can press down and and then it's like you have to push it to press the thing all the way down. That's a gear kickdown feature for petrol cars. You don't need that feature in an EV car because there are no gears. They don't have that in this car. And, and that means that it's really designed as an EV from the ground up. So I, I think that's really cool. Y you know what I mean? Yes, I do. Yeah. I do. You do, okay. So what I'm saying is that VF8 is actually a petrol car and they put electric uh, motor in there with battery but this is purely EV is what I'm saying yeah and that's cool good job in fast yeah I think a lot of people will buy this car for many different reasons like you know instead of buying a motorbike just buy a car take the family out to Lung Tao Right? Or go see mistress. <laughs> like, in your VF5. 
or uh, I don't know, go go to a massage place, or you know, there's many uses for a VF5. You are telling the purpose you want you buy this car. No, I buy this car because I love being fast. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, because I want I want I want Vietnam to have a famous brand, you know, like. I love the fact that VinFast is going global and I want to support that endeavor and that's why I want to buy more VinFast cars. I already have the VF E34, the VF8, the VF9 and now I have the VF5 and I will go back to Canada in about a month and then I will get the VF8. Performance Plus, okay? Not your regular VF8, I will get the Performance Plus with 60 extra horsepower mm. all right and then i'm gonna test that mm -mm. and try not to kill myself <laughs> yeah on canadian roads getting arrested by the royal canadian mounted police on horses uh, you know in canada like, all the police ride horses they're gonna chase my min fast in a horse <laughs> all right really yes totally 100 percent why are your leg tired? Oh, you mean the... the Be because they have a long leg, but I'm okay. Oh, yeah. Because I'm short. I see. Well, your leg too long. Cut it off. <laughs> Cut it off. <laughs> get, get, get surgery to reduce the, the length of your leg, you know? Because it is a compact car, so it don't have many room. I don't know. There's a lot of room no, for me. It's in the first seat, in the second row. It's yeah. not like that. Oh, oh yeah, we'll, we'll test that, we'll test that. I will sit in the second row. But how do you feel about the suspension so far? Like, is it bumpy? Is it smooth? How do you feel about the suspension? A lot of people complain about VINFAST suspension, including me. So how do you feel about the VF5? Yes, I agree. I think this is this is more bumpy. I think the suspension feels a lot like you know compact cars, subcompact cars like Kia Morning or you know the i10 or entry level petrol cars, and I think that's normal. I mean, what do you expect for 400 million dong? All right, like for 400 million dong, this is pretty awesome. Like seriously, like better than that car, better than that car. Better than that car. Yeah, I'm better than you. Honda Civic. Honda Civic. I don't give a shit. <laughs> better than you. How do you feel when you see an arrival? Uh, as a driver, uh, how do I feel about why? When you say is it easy to ride a car? It's very easy to drive this car. It drives like a normal car. It's like. I think this is like a perfect car for anybody new to driving. It's small, so easy to maneuver. And the steering wheel feels a little bit heavier than, I mean heavy, like you can feel more resistance than let's say the, the E34 or the VF8 or the VF9. It feels more resistance, but you know, it's very precise. It is very precise and it seems very accurate. The one thing I love about Infast is how they do the st steering. I, I think it's really, really good. Uh, it's not sloppy. Like, you just point and it'll go straight. Right? So I, I love that. It does lack a bit of power, so it cannot go very quickly. I mean, it won't accelerate very quickly. But that's okay. It's a city car, so, you know, it's adequate. I still, I'm still waiting for my Infast underwear, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, they promised me, right? And you will wear this? I will, I will model. Oh, okay. I will model in Pass Underwear. Okay. I need to lose 5 kilograms first. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and, then, and then I can I can model for them. Yes. And you can, so, can take the picture of you wear underwear. It's a VF5, VF9, VF8. You want that? No, you, not, you say you want to wear the underwear. So I just give you a suggestion. Oh, okay. Alright, I'll take that into consideration. Seriously, I'm impressed. I keep on saying that, I'm impressed. Okay. But also, I think this is a little bit slower than the VF9 or VF8. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay.
we have an uh, A, we have this hiring here, so you can put your hand on that. But this one is very. Oh, you mean, okay, I know what you mean. You mean there's no place to put your arm? Yeah. yeah. So normally you have a place to put your arm so you can look cool driving like this. You know, you can look like Don Toretto or right? Fast, Fast X, you know? And then, but, but in this car, there's like no place. So, so, so what you have to do is you gotta put your, your hand on the passenger. <laughs> and then, <laughs> yeah, that's true. There's no place, right? To put your arm. I don't know if that's important. You're supposed to put both of your hands on the steering wheel. That's the proper driving like posture, okay? Yeah. No, let me let me show. You. This is the proper driving posture. <laughs> Alright, bro. Alright. No, actually no, it's not. Don't do that. Don't do that. You look like an idiot. No, I look like an idiot. Okay, I heard that you are going to make a, uh, a new movie. Yeah, so I'm gonna make a ghost movie, but we're still, uh, you know, like uh, we're still like casting for the ghost. <laughs> it has to be long hair, long hair, pale. Yeah, and and uh, scary, and angry looking, and I, I can think of somebody, but she may not be available, so I don't know. Do you have any special guests on your movie? No, just just been fast. Which kinds of been fast? I don't know yet. Well, obviously not this one because it doesn't have the backseat seatbelt warning. Right? We need that for the movie. Okay. <laughs> so it might be the VF9. Might be the VF9. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, let's do final thought. <laughs> final thought. Any? Okay. Mr. Sun, final thought. Em nghĩ thì chiếc xe này phù hợp với gia đình nhỏ hoặc là sử dụng dịch vụ. Với lại là theo như Vinh Phát nói thì nó vẫn còn có khả năng nâng cấp thêm. Cho nên là thích hợp với nhân viên văn phòng. Mr. Huy. Yes. Em nghĩ là lần đầu tiên gặp chiếc xe này nhìn nó giống rất giống với Mini Cooper kết lại là xe này nó 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 sẽ có sự nâng cấp thêm về uh, cái quạt cái gió cái cái luồng khí trong uh, xe này thì sao rất là nóng. Ừ. Miss Phong. Yes. So the first thing that so the smell is good. It smells good. Yes. It's very important to me because yeah. in uh, when I get in in the VF so I feel not good in the VFE24. Okay. It's better in the VFI, it don't have worse smell. I think that's a good point. Like they actually did something so that they reduced the smell on their new cars. That's great. Yeah. Anything else? Also, this car okay. We put three people in the second row. Yeah, I, okay. I, I think you're still okay, right? Yes. Yeah. We need to get three fat people in, in, in the back. And then we'll see. And then we will see. Uh, and and any, anything else? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Like this. Like, like this. Ah. Oh. Mr. It's very hard, so it's. Oh, like... okay. All right. Okay. And and Miss I. Yes. Yeah, I film yourself. Oh, <laughs> I can turn on. Ding 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 ding. <laughs> Not me. Miss okay. I, what do you yes. think? Sit in the first row is quite okay, cool because I have AC. But it's kind of a compact car, so it has less room, so it's quite uh, not not that much suitable. Uh, it's comfortable for me. Not comfortable for you. You yeah. don't have long legs. No, I have long legs. Okay. Not really. I have long legs. Measure it. <laughs> Bring out the lure. Okay, I will bring the lure. Oh. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Very suitable for office worker. Okay. I will buy one. Really? <laughs> okay, good. Good. Yeah. Okay, final thought from Tom. Um, I, I think this is the car Vietnam needs. I think this is the car the world needs because we need affordable 
EVs that anybody can afford and use and enjoy. And I think Infast has got this one right. I mean, don't expect too much for a $400 million car, but, but this gives you, you know, it, this, this gives you uh, ease of transportation and, uh, you know, general pretty good comfort and it helps you get from point A to point B in an electric vehicle and uh, this is what the world needs and no complaints. I'm not sure I'll be driving this car a lot, but I think more people should buy this car and enjoy it and uh, save the environment so I can have more children. So we will be doing more videos with the VF5 Plus and this is the really the first day we drive or ride in the VF5 Plus. This is our honest passenger reaction, uh, passenger and driver reaction. All right, take some fucking action and... Don't be a <laughs>